The YNs of anime, if you don't know what YNs are, they are young ninjas, crash outs, you know and, what I'm saying? And the reason he's getting whooped on so bad is because he messed with the wrong young. And you're going to see a lot more of this yep. in today's video. Enjoy. He almost killed him after he died. Now, I don't know if y'all been oh. seeing, but the term YNs yeah. is going crazy on social media. And yeah, you know, it literally sure. means young. Now. Will but the yeah, grizzly bear ever wear anybody? another made outfit? I seen him in it last time and he looks so submissive and breedable. We trying to make it happen, yeah. bruh. We trying to make it, you know what I'm saying? And thug or shice the activity. And seeing all this YN post, it really made me think, what anime characters demonstrate this YN activity, bro? Y and today, that's what we finna talk about. And I got some characters we gonna put on trial, and I got scenes to talk about. And then after that, mm. we gonna rank them from bronze to Hall of Fame YN. Mm. Okay. Now, starting off, we got a generational prospect, and I'm talking about the emo Sandman himself, Gara. Now, there's something different about Gara because he didn't like see to the just hurt people, but he liked to murk people. Bruh. Like yep. I'm telling you, I was convinced this man was possessed by King Von the first half of the show. Cause that's how crazy he was moving, bro. Now for the first moment. Whoa, it's like that. Yeah, he was. He was out. He was. Bro. He was on. on he was on time and bro. Time and time, bro. He was active. Okay. In review. We got the Rock Lee murder attempt. Now, if you've seen Naruto, you know Gar ended up winning his tournament fight against Rock Lee, right? And he might have tried to murk Rock Lee in the process, but that's besides the point. Cause this didn't end up happening. Cause my guy stepped in and saved the day. And I must remind you, like I said earlier, Gar was a generational YN, yeah. and Rock Lee you was registered one of his ops so he decided to slide on this man while he was in the hospital oh. and on top of that this man rockley was unconscious oh. bro like bro was standing bedside ready to finish the job sand wrapped around my mans and luckily naruto and shikamaru were there to barely stop this man because he was tweaking out oh, how demon. you gonna kill someone when they literally downed like fortnite i'm telling y'all this is a different level of shiesty and this wasn't the first time they what saw this exotic? man in action because they witnessed guard kill two people in front of him for the third part of the exams if i was naruto i would have had him sent back to his village now for the last <laughs> moment of review we got the make it rain scene and so Gar and his crew were posted up against these rain ninja, and they were old as frick. I'm not gonna lie. So no wonder they couldn't tell Gar was one of them YNs. And off rip, old dude was like, "Hey, y'all ran into the wrong crew. All y'all getting murked." And Gar looked yeah. at that man with Go killer on. intent and said, "Nah, I'm murking everybody I run into." So old dude activated some raining needle moves, and it did nothing but make Gar even more heated. And then Gar said something scary: "Raining needles? I'm finna make it rain blood, little twine." So Gar proceeded to trap bro in his sand the move, and that already sound like some devious, and it was as suspected because as Gar squeezed his hand. It actually squeezed the blood out of bro, ooh, making it ooh, rain on him. And Gar ooh. was just disrespectfully posted up with an umbrella already. He knew like, it was where he got there from. Don't think he forgot about the other two. He packed them nah, up also, over. bruh. And I'm not gonna lie, this is it's all the over, evidence bro. I need to see that Gar deserves a Hall of Fame YN badge, bro. He's peak of peak. Actually, I'm gonna make y'all mad, and I'm swapping it out for a gold. I'm sorry, he turned from his YN ways very soon. I, I ain't gonna oh, lie, I would've changed. gave him bronze. He I would've gave him bronze, bro. Hey, who, more, who, who's more of a YN than him? Bro, I mean, Kid Boo, Kid Boo's the Kid most Boo. Oh, 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 but I'm just saying. Oh, you right. When when we get to Shaputin, right? He changed up. Gar not that no more. Yeah, he 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 he's a Gar not guy. that. He, you know what I'm saying? Don't mm -hmm. after this, bro. We only got so many Hall of Fame badges to give out. Now, if I'm going to talk about true YN embodiment, I know this dude isn't really young, but Blackbeard, come on, bro. Now, since the beginning of one, nah, he's been one of the shiestiest people in the show. Like, he Captain slides Crash on people, out. steals fruits, and yeah. catches bodies. And we got one scene like in particular to review. So, for some context of this scene, it was the Marine for a war, and everybody was getting active. To the point, this man, Whitebeard, was on his last leg. And you know, the oldest YN Blackbeard decided this was the perfect moment to steal his powers and catch a body in the process. So, Blackbeard pulled up talking after absolutely crazy to this half living old man and proceeded to piece the frick out of him. Oh, bro. he put Mind up in the middle like of the fight after the, the, the nigga was almost like, done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he's the ultimate opportunist. Yeah. Oh, oh. Done with the 90s. So one way or another, White <laughs> activated his old man strength and got active with his final breaths. And he had bro pinned down, no diddy. And hey. he straight up full force ground pounded this man like wrecking rap. And things was looking rough because Whitebeard was on hots to the point bro turned red. It looked like he was gear too. But like I told y'all, Blackbeard was just the old YN. Because before Whitebeard got the finishing punch off, oh, he, he upped, upped the, the pole on this oh. man and popped him. Like you can't make oh, this up, bro. He man. resulted to his gun. And not only that, but immediately after, he called for his fellow YNs to slide with him, bro. And they didn't just slide, bro. They got active. Oh, they, them out. Like swords. they was doing everything oh. in their power to make sure he was oh. dead. And you know, you're not surviving. Crazy that's like, part, crazy part, cause it's still 10 all the time. He's still 10 all the time. Okay. That's like the uh, terrifying scene. <laughs> he was like, ah, my ankle. 
That's, a, that's crazy. That's insane. This is one of the most shiesty moments of One Piece. Because look at everybody's faces while this is happening to their pops. And if that wasn't enough, Blackbeard was literally laughing, bro. Like, this man needs to be sent to the streets of Chicago for the way he moving. And then after Whitebeard was gone for the count, he did a whole presentation demonstration showing how he just hit a lick on his power. Catching even more bodies in the process. And this oh. is all the review I need to oh. see. Blackbeard's one of them OANs, bro. He's not a young, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Hall of Fame, bro. Hall of Fame simple. Moving on. Now, Dragon Ball has it. a lot of YN prospects, but I feel it's only right that we talk about the king of YNs, and that yeah, would be Kid Buu, Kid Buu. or all the same YN Buu. And the first scene I'm going to talk about is the heavenly Show fade. So leading fame. up to said fade, Majin Buu ended Kid up everybody. transforming into this little kid form, and Vegeta and Goku thought this was going to be sweet, but Supreme Kai started stressing, because apparently this is the <laughs> ultimate YN form, where Buu gives zero fricks. Now, one way or another, Vegeta was like, hey gang, if you going to blow up the planet, run the fade first. But Kid Buu won't listen to me. He just turned in their direction and hissed like a cat. And like I said, he had no regard for life. So he charged up this devious blast. Like Goku was literally trying to plead with this man. But he just smiled. <laughs> and as you could have guessed, Wayan Buu ended up throwing the blast. But luckily, Goku and Vegeta no, escaped. So now that Wayan Buu was bored because Vegeta and Goku were gone, he started going to random planets and blowing them up. Right? Apparently looking for Goku in them. And this is where it gets crazy. Because yes. somehow Buu ended up man. making his way to DBZ heaven just for some smoke. Just to run some fades. So Buu walks over to everybody's side them up and then this fake piccolo and thor clone walk over and try to sun him like they was patting him on the head and mess not knowing this is why oh, and done, i guess buddy. this was the catalyst because then boo cracked his you're neck done. and started screaming like a crackhead straight up destroying the surrounding area and everybody there wasn't trying to let that slide so they try to jump this man boo but when i tell you boo started violating everybody it was straight up no cop this man krillin just well, what he did in. the krillin was ungodly just look him in his eyes bro you can see it this nigga did the krillin was ungodly how you see the nigga who you mind you boo killed Krillin, uh -huh. boo killed Krillin, and then now Krillin's in heaven, and he bought the he, he, <laughs> bro by the almost kill him again. This is insane. But when I tell you boo started violating everybody, it was straight up no comp. This man Krillin weeks up tried to hit him with a destructo disc, then just got bounced around like a toy. Oh, like Krillin, no, oh, he ain't no comp for Wyan oh. Boo. He's in a different league. After violating everybody, Wyan Boo decided he was gonna blow up this planet too. But luckily they got saved because Goku and Vegeta charged up to lure Boo in. But really think about this: Kid Boo slid to heaven or wherever they were and fought all these dead people just to pack them up again. Slid to <laughs> I'm sorry, Wyan Boo was bro. different, and the amount of bodies he was catching. This I told y'all, no regard for. Him and you know, I'm not even gonna talk about how bad he did oh, Vegeta, bro. Did this Vegeta was a different type of beatdown. We're gonna go ahead and give YN Blue his Hall of Fame back. Yeah, now, yeah, I almost yeah. forgot no about one of my either, favorite YNs, that of which being Gidua Zoldic. Now, considering oh, Gidua's already an assassin, YN. he's about that life, bro. And it's the fact that he's already I say gold. gold. Ready to catch I say gold. I say gold. I say gold. And what's the standard? I say standard gold, on? bro. Because he, 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 can, he can be cutthroat. Uh -huh. But he got a heart. He, mm. he got heart, bro. Like, yeah, he he, he yeah. care about his people. Yeah. But that he a killer. You he ain't his killer. people. You dead. Yeah. He ain't. Like he ain't Hall of Fame. He ain't boo. He ain't boo. But he, he close the body. It just makes it even better. For example, we got Kidua's iconic moment during the Hunter exam. So it was my boy's turn to finally go against somebody. And then this buff serial killer dude stepped out. And Kidua was like, hey, bro, what's the word? So serial killer folks went into this whole spill about how many people he's killed, how many lives he's taken. And talking. Killer was just standing there unfazed. And so finally, Kidua was just like, hey, so the loser's the one who dies, right? And bro agrees. And that was all the green light Kidua needed. Because right after bro finished his sentence, Kidua phased by this man and took his heart out, bro. And when serial oh. killer bro peeped, his heart was gone. He looked back oh. like, hey, give me my heart back. And my boy just showed it to him smiling <laughs> like he didn't commit the most egregious act of the show so far. Still but hey, technically Kidua did give him his heart back. He just wasn't alive to really notice. Mm. And this is when I knew he was one of them. And you know, another yeah. moment I want to mention is when he mm. ran the ops out the city. And so this was during the Heavens Arena tournament arc. And these scrubs wanted to get some easy wins off them. And they ended up threatening to do something to their little homie to make go and fight on a certain day. But dog, when Killua found out about this, he was heated. And the day yeah. Killua was supposed to fight, bro, he pulled up on him in his suite. And he told this man to never step foot in his city again bro and do listen because he wasn't trying to lose his life like Kittle got a free dub that day and this is one of them attributes i'm talking about that Kittle has bro that's that yeah. intimidation that young intimidation but somebody need to, to get my boy a shiesty mask asap and you know i'm gonna rank Kittle a silver let's debate about silver? it now the last character i want to talk about he is said Thanos. let's debate about it look bro he said let's debate dog, about it bro. i ain't silver. gonna lie you put thorfinn over him bro i ain't listening to nothing you say about anime bro mm. you my dog gang you know you my dog but you put Thorfinn over Kill. I don't want to hear shit you got to say. 
And if you've never seen Vinland Saga, it's a show about Vikings and stuff. And yeah. Thorfinn is, yeah, Thorfinn's a dog. And for this video's sake, he was a YN for sure, bro. But the thing is, he wasn't always like that. He had some traumatic events that shaped his life in a shysty way. And so Thorfinn was literally a killing machine as a child. Like he was taking on multiple grown men at once by himself. But his true end goal was to get back for his pops. And literally the person he was trying to get back at was the leader of his crew. And my boy was always trying to run the ones. And it got to a point where Askeladd, the leader, would 1v1 Thorfinn if he did a favor for him. Which leads me to the moment I want to talk about. So their squad was just chilling outside of enemy territory. Territory. And Askeladd was like, Thorfinn, I need you to do me a favor and murk Thorkel, who was this super soldier of a Viking. And as expected, Thorfinn was like, only if you run my fate. And Askeladd agreed, of course. So as everybody was going into battle, Thorfinn was on top of the ship and he was- That's already why in energy, bro. Do me a favor. You know what I want. Yeah, nah. It, I want- It, it, want it is. It is why in behavior. You. But that nigga, this- But- Complete turnaround. Worse than Gara. Worse than ah, Gara. Let's keep it a bean, bro. Ah, Let's keep it a bean, bro. Worse, mm. Mode. And when they finally got close enough, Thorfinn jumps right at Thorkel and they start getting active, bruh. No talking, just smoke. Oh, like I remember. Him. He so did. Thorfinn tells yeah, I remember. Let them run I remember. The ones, yeah, I remember. And he tries to murder Thorfinn with a punch. But Thorfinn bimbed out this life, so he dodges that and cuts bro's wrist. And after seeing Thorfinn was no joke, Thorkel starts spamming eggs because he's trying to have fun with bro. But Thorfinn is on a mission, y'all. And he ended up hitting Thorkel with a smooth Ugh. combo and he thought he had a finisher. But this walk in block of protein just catches the blade through his hand. And he starts throwing Thorfinn around like a rag doll, bruh. And then the rest of Thorfinn's crew ends up retreating, leaving this man just hanging there. And Thorfinn That's trying to see up. if man's still alive. But Thorfinn got them hood tendencies and sneaks this man, cutting off two of his fingers. This made Thorko respect that he ran his ones like a G, and he let him escape, solidifying that he was one of the coldest YNs. And considering Thorfinn ready to run the fade with his incentives and all, I'm gonna give him a gold YN oh. match. And you know he gold? Oh, gold. So you gonna talk Over. about Gara's gold. switch up, but not Over. his? Over. Over. Killua. Oh, over kill all the twin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. He will get the Hall of Fame, but he's not in his place for no reason. He's not just Jacob tweaking, Hey, bro. man, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, though, for real. Jacob, um, tweaking, subscribe bro. if you made it this far, for real. Surprise, subscribe, oh, bro. Press that button. Tweaking. 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 Yeah, I, I, I can't <laughs> even trust you, bro. <laughs>